Story of Adi Shankara continued. After getting permission for sannyasa from his mother, wearing the sannyasa vastram with a vibrant spark on his face, along with the dandam, the stick, and the kamandalam, Shankaracharya started his journey towards the north direction at the age of eight. He heard that the great disciple of Maharishi Gaudapada, Sri Govindapada, is in samadhi for the past so many years on the banks of river Narmada. Shankaracharya wanted to be his disciple and aspired to obtain the Brahma Vigyan from him. Every day Shankaracharya walked many miles after the Brahma Muhurta and got bhiksha from the villages on his way back. After the sunset, he slept some near some temple or under any tree wherever he would find some place. Like this, he was on his way to achieve his goal. People who have had his darshan on his way were always astonished with the knowledge and determination he had in this young age. They were keen to talk to the eight-year-old boy to understand his motive but were disappointed because he was in meditation most of the times. After a few months of struggled Padayatra, he managed to reach the banks of river Narmada near Umkareshwara temple. There were a lot of sannyasis and Siddha Purushas, so Shankaracharya asked them about the whereabouts of Sri Govindapada. All of them got astonished of the fact that an eight-year-old small boy has come all the way in search of a guru. One of the old sannyasi there told Shankaracharya to go to the opposite cave where he can find Sri Govindapada, who was in deep meditation since ages. He took a small diya and went inside the cave. As soon as he saw his guru's paduka, that's when he composed the Guru Paduka Stotram. There was a divine aura filled inside the cave. Shankaracharya was immensely happy to reach to his Guru, which was his main goal when he started from home. After listening to the Stotram, Govinda Bhagavad Pada slowly opened his eyes. Shankaracharya did namaskarams to his Guru and asked him, to accept him as his disciple and teach him the Brahmanyanam that he learnt from Rishi Gaudapada. Other sannyasis also came inside the cave for taking blessings from Govinda Bhagavad Pada. Meanwhile, Govinda Bhagavad Pada said, Shankara, I had been waiting only for you these many years. I will impart all the knowledge that I have. Gradually, Adi Shankara learnt all the Ashtamasiddhis and Navanidhis from his Guru. Not just that, he learnt everything in detail from his Guru within a short period of time. To be continued.